Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Do you love orange Coke but have trouble finding it because of its seasonal nature? Or maybe you love orange but you're more of a Pepsi person? This is where I fall. Orange Pepsi isn't a thing that I know of anyway, although they do have mango for some reason. So I found this workaround which has become a big hit at my house. I decided to try adding a few drops of orange extract to regular Coke or Pepsi to create a drink that would satisfy that orange urge. It took several trips to a few different grocery stores before I even found one that carried orange extract. It did work great and a little goes a really long way. You only need a few drops per glass. But with several people in my family loving this drink, it didn't take long before that teeny tiny little bottle was empty. After we'd gone through our second bottle and then going back to the same store where I'd previously found it and finding none available multiple times, I decided to just go ahead and make my own. It's a really easy process. The most difficult part about it is the weight. So here is how to make it. Slice off the peels of the orange but do not include the white part. Cut the peels into pieces that will fit inside your container. I have these cute little jars handy, so these are what I'm using, and I cut my peels into strips. Since my jars were pretty small, I actually ended up with enough for two. If you're using a bigger jar, obviously you'll probably just need one. Once you have your peels in the jar, you're gonna fill it with plain unflavored vodka. Make sure that your peels are covered. Place the lid on your airtight container and set aside in a cool, dark place for at least a couple of months. The oils from the peels will leach into the alcohol, imparting all of its essence. This is what it starts out looking like. And then this is what it looks like after a couple of months. You can see the peels have lost all their color and are now looking quite dull. So you can see I had this bottle of orange extract. We finished it, it's empty. I saved the bottle so that I can put this into this bottle and just keep refilling it. When you're ready to harvest your extract, you may wanna do what I'm doing and put it into a small bottle, such as the kind you buy in the store. I recommend using a small funnel and pouring the contents of your jar into a vessel with a spout to cut down on losing any to spills or drips. I used a measuring cup as an intermediary for mine. Once your liquid's been transferred, you can throw out the depleted peels. And that's it, your orange extract is now ready for use. One thing I will draw your attention to, you can see on this bottle I'm using, it has a small opening to help limit how much you can pour at one time. Some other extract bottles like this one, the opening is much larger. If you're using something like that or anything with a wide mouth or no spout at all, I would recommend using a pipette like this. As I mentioned, it doesn't take much. Time for a little disclaimer. Some say that flavored extracts are the same as flavored vodka and that the only difference is the amount you use in your application. To some extent, that's true. However, in my opinion, I feel like the ratio of oils to alcohol is also different between the two. You're not going to get drunk or feel any effects from the few drops of extract that it takes to flavor a drink. If you add too much extract, you're not gonna end up with a satisfying cocktail. Instead, you're going to end up with a drink that has a pungent aftertaste that you're not going to enjoy. Extracts are solely intended to be a flavoring element. It's important to note that homemade extracts may be slightly less potent than store-bought extracts, so you may need to use a little bit more to get the desired flavor. I made more than could fit in my little bottles, so I put the remainder in a spare jar temporarily. I'm going to use that to show you how I make my orange flavored Pepsi. The Coca-Cola version is actually orange and vanilla. If you want both flavors, just add a few drops of vanilla extract along with your orange extract, but I personally enjoy the flavor of using just the orange. That part's really personal preference, but there you have it. That's that's how to make orange extract or really any extract. If you'd like to see me make additional flavors of extract, let me know. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you think anyone else may like it, please feel free to share. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.